I am not a morning person. Until I've had something to eat and drink, I barely feel human, meaning actually making breakfast is an incredibly miserable task. So what if I could automate this process? What if I built a Lego train that could not only bring my breakfast to the table, but also make it for me in the first place? Yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Enter the Breakfast Express, the train that's going to revolutionise my mornings. Aside from the locomotive and battery box, there's a cereal receptacle and the beverage bay, both featuring magnets to hold the bowl and glass in position. Now that's all good and well, but how will the breakfast itself get on the train? Thanks to this, a Rube Goldberg machine. A Rube Goldberg machine essentially involves a series of chain reactions, such as marbles running or dominoes toppling to achieve an often simple task in an often eccentric way. In this case, pouring a cup of tea. Yes, it finally worked! Basically, it's a chain reaction contraption, and I'm going to build three separate contraptions. One to pour the orange juice, one to add the cereal, and one for the milk. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I started by building wooden supports for the track, which had to be entirely level with the dining table to avoid the liquid spilling. It was kind of cumbersome, but imagine even how much less of a morning person I'd be if I had to clean up spilt milk and sticky Lego bricks. So the train enters from the dining room here, it goes behind the sofa and onto this curly-whirly stretch of track, and then it makes its way onto this gigantic board I built where the first contraption is going to be. Now as I was editing this, I realised how boring it is to hear me explain everything in excruciating detail, so instead I'm going to try and do it as quickly as possible. The train knocks this orange out the way and then comes to a stop at this wooden crate blocking the track. As the orange falls, it hits this fidget spinner device, toppling these dominoes, rolling this ball down the track to make this weight fall, pulling down the trigger of this remote control car, hitting this basketball down this drain pipe, sinking this cup, raising this cup, knocking this marble down a downward spiral of doom and despair, sending this ping pong ball into this Hot Wheels car with scissors glued on the roof, cutting this string, releasing this shoe, kicking this container, catching on these magnets and sending orange juice down the tube and into the glass. <gasps> Meanwhile, this tiny hand hits another Hot Wheels car with the sharpened pencil glued on top, popping this balloon with marbles inside, sending them through this upturned cone, spinning in this dish, wibbly wobbling down this track and into this cup, weighing down this pulley and pulling forward this bin lorry to unblock these lentils, which slowly fill up this crate, connected on yet another pulley system with the crate that's blocking the train, and as it fills up, voila, the train continues its journey. Also, everything's orange, because orange juice, which is actually yellow. I've tested it 500,000 times, and it actually works fairly consistently. I mean, sometimes a weight falls on its own and triggers a machine early, the pencil fails to pop the balloon, the marbles get stuck in the cone, or the lentils clog the funnel. But other than that, hopefully it might stand a chance of actually maybe working. I guess we'll find out in a few minutes. The second machine, by design, is wildly different. This time, I wanted to create a chain reaction of digital devices, including a CD player, a telephone, Siri, Google, Alexa, a smart cat feeder, and a pond pump. So the train's going to knock the ball down the pipe to press play on this CD player, and then all of these devices are going to talk to each other, resulting in cereal being dispensed from this, a smart cat feeder. I feel I should clarify, it's brand new and has never had cat food in it. As it releases the food, it can play back a really tinny and bad quality voice recording. Alexa, turn on the pond pump. Okay. Which activates this smart plug. The pond pump itself, meanwhile, is in a bucket of water blocking the track, on a pulley system with an empty bucket where the hose from the pump leads. And as water transfers from one bucket to the other, one goes up, one goes down, and the train can pass. It's a Rube Goldberg machine for the modern age, and I'm genuinely rather proud of it. But enough premature self-congratulation, Machine 3 is where it could all go very wrong. This final machine simply sees a cow-shaped jug on a pulley with a weight. But the really cool part is this, an alarm clock on wheels, designed so you have to physically get out of bed and chase it around the room. You see, I've timed the entire route, and it takes an average of 3 minutes 17 seconds, at which point the clock is going to ring, knock the weight off the table, and pour the milk, whether the train is there or not. It relies on everything before it going perfectly to plan, and nothing messing up whatsoever. My morning might merely be milky and marvellous, or made milky, miserable, and mightily messy. So there we go, all three machines are built, the tracks all joined up and in position, and I think we're just about good to go. All that was left was to get a good night's sleep.
Hey Siri, call half asleep Chris. Calling half asleep Chris. There's one entry for today. At 6 p.m., you have Alexa, turn on Feed Me Cereal. Okay. After you finish your message, just hang up. Or to hear more options, please press 1. Alexa, turn on the pom pump. Okay. So that's how you become a morning person. And it only took 34 tries. I want to say a massive thank you to Joseph's Machines, Sprice Machines, and of course Rube Goldberg himself for all the inspiration, as well as Danielle for helping film and reset everything the several million times it went wrong. Oh no! No!